hi fellow enthusiasts welcome to my channel let's go into today's video and we're gonna come back at the end to wrap it up we transition to this page now let's see uh, what else we can do when we try to do this one more time it tells us I can't already exist so there's nothing we can do actually um, so we, we don't want to sign up every time we use this so we're gonna check if you already signed up and then we'll just log it in so let's create that first of all we're gonna try to log you in directly and if we can't log you in then we'll, we'll tell you to sign up that way next time you provide username and password it will try to log you in and if you can log you in then you'll be in else it will ask you to sign up let's go back to this documentation and check how to log in we did sign up let's check how to log in all right to log in we're gonna use this here we're gonna get our username and password and we're gonna log in in, in the background all right so let's do that So let's do that before signing up we're gonna try to log you in first and if you can't log you in then we sign you up all right So what's going to happen is uh, when you click on that login, it will try to log you in directly. If it can log you in, then it will log you in. If it can't log you in, then it will, will want to show a nice message telling you to please um, sign up. So let's put that message here and say else we can do um, system print as well. We're going to say please sign up please we're gonna use your name and then we're gonna tell you to sign up sign up all right and then we can actually do a toast with that as well so you know our toast we're gonna say please let's do the same Let's do the same. So we're going to toast. We're going to tell you to please sign up. Okay. And down. Uh, okay. We need to delete this. In the sign up at the background, we're gonna comment it out. We don't wanna sign up yet. We're just gonna comment it out. Control four slash to comment those out. All right. All right. So we're gonna use this um, toast here. We're gonna ask. We're gonna check something. If the past user the dot get current user is not null which means the person exists it's not null then we're gonna do the redirect okay we're gonna call this in different places but for now at on create let's look at our on create the first place we want to call this is at our on create so we're having this error so we're going to move this log redirect to after we have the the server initiate initialized right so let's initialize the server before we do the redirect so i'm going to just run it one more time Alright, so whoever was the last user is now logged in. 
All right, that's the last user. We have the person logged in. Let's go back and sign a new person in. Uh, let's do hacker net 47. Oh, four seven four seven seven. We connect four seven seven. Let's use password one two three. All right. So we need to sign up. This doesn't exist. So we sign up. And um, all right. So let's run this application one more time, and we'll see if it's gonna sign us up automatically. Because it would be nice if you don't have to sign up every time that you want to use your application. So let's try that. All right. You don't have to sign up every time or sign in every time. So it remembers the last user and signs you in automatically. All right. So we do that after we get the we connect our server, then we log in. So we do the redirect. All right, so we're gonna clean up this code and we'll just publish it as is. We don't need all this. Normally I'll cut this and paste it one more time to arrange the indentations properly for me so I select all cut and paste again and it will just rearrange all yeah, right all right so let's make this a little Alright, a much more streamlined code and really we just use this page for most of the things we're doing on our login activity. Our main activity, uh, we have some comments here too, we don't really need them e either. So we have a few lines of code in our own create, then this toggle fun function and we have the intent that takes us to the login activity and then in the login activity we have most of our codes and then in the active user activity we have little or nothing there right now so next time we're going to work on this page and probably be able to send some texts and receive some texts from other users but right now that will be it from us And until I come your way next time, stay hungry. All right. Thanks for sticking around to the end. That will be it from us today. Please, if you have not subscribed, do so right now. And don't forget to like and share this video. Until we come your way again with more content, stay enthused.